Hello everyone and welcome to this week's art lesson. Now today we're going to be learning about the artist Judith Rothschild who was an abstract painter and a painter that was interested in cubism and surrealism and she was also an art collector and someone that created a foundation to preserve artworks to look after them because they don't really look after themselves and I think it's really important when talking about this to think about how we as artists work together, how we share ideas as well. Now when we're making a puzzle, for example, like we are today, we might want to play with their puzzle and they might want to play with ours, okay? And it's, it's always about sharing and kind of keeping all the great things that we know going in, into the future as well, okay? So we will need um, a pencil, watercolour paints, a pot of water and a paintbrush and if you don't have watercolour paints, you can always use felt tips or colouring pencils, whatever you have to add colour to this. Okay, oh and we will also need some scissors, I just haven't got them out of my box yet. And we're going to start by looking for shapes, and not just squares and circles, but also sort of irregular shapes like the one on my tin. Okay, and it just, it just doesn't matter too much, but I would say just try and keep it simple. So if you're drawing a television, just draw a square or a rectangle, I mean, um, not, to, not old televisions anymore. Um, so let's just start that, and um, away we go. Oh, we will need some plain paper too. We're going to create a painting of shapes that is also a puzzle. In the room you're in, look around you and think about what shapes you can see. Now imagine they're floating around in different places and start to draw them very simply on your page. Upside down, on their side, how about being bigger or even smaller? Where there aren't shapes, you could add the shapes you'd like to see. Now using lines, Join the shapes together as well as a few lines out to the edges. It should start to look like a strange puzzle now. Next, paint the shapes. If the colours you can see are boring, change them to more exciting ones. Then when it's finished, leave the painting to dry. Time to make our painting into a puzzle. With your painting definitely dry, cut out the shapes along the lines you drew earlier. You may need an adult to help you with this, but do try your best to do it yourself. Play with it, experiment with it, in different arrangements, and most importantly, enjoy it. If you did, you could make a second puzzle with shapes you can see outside. Okay, well I'll stop mine there. Now I found that really interesting because it really made me think about how I see things in perspective. It made me think about 
how I see things in terms of their size and their scale and the proportions of them and also the sort of shapes and forms that they have. Now I've pinned up some of mine and I think probably the first thing to do would be to try and put my own one back together and if you do that successfully why not have a go at doing maybe your friend's one or something like that and you could even just take these shapes and make something completely new and stick it down if you really wanted to or you could just um, paper clip them together maybe give them to an adult to have a go at doing that could be fun too okay and if you enjoyed that and want to see more of Rothschild's paintings here are three more and have a wonderful week and I'll see you all soon goodbye